hi, my name is Hartzo from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. So yeah, that's all. What first got you into beatboxing and what made you keep doing it? My first um, beatboxing was, I saw my, my friend in high school when he's beatbox, start beatboxing with Melody and then I'm, oh man, I, I'm kind of interested with that. And then I went back home and watched YouTube, start to watch Dave Crow uh, uh, YouTube music. So that just that, and then I start to learn that since 2014, yeah. What made you want to start competing at a professional level? And what makes you want to compete specifically at GBB 21? This make me uh, because of I start to realize my song, my sound set is getting better. I I learned it very fast, and then and I feel it. I can try it into bringing it to another level. Yeah. What is the best part of competing at GBB for you? The best part is to meet the beatboxer for, for me, I guess, yeah. And in your eyes, does Grand Beatbox help you in any way with your beatbox career, and how? I think by gather the beatboxer and like, you know, jamming, when, when you heard some other beatboxer came in and like do it as like specific song, we can learn it just by that, yeah. How did you prepare specifically for this competition this year? Mm -hmm. And for how long did you prepare? <laughs> This answer, uh, I cannot, <laughs> but yeah, even though uh, I just got in like very short amount of time, you know, I just prepared for a showcase that Peponi told me to do, but yeah, I'm going to use it for Elim. So yeah, I haven't kindly, roughly haven't prepared for a battle just for the Elims, yeah. As a beatbox performer, what do you normally do to impress a crowd when you perform? Just a lot of gimmicks. Yeah, I do love gimmicks because if you like beatboxing way too much and just fucking yourself and the crowd was, was not, you know, the response, we didn't have the response, yeah. Does this change when you perform at GBB? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. How do you try to enjoy yourself when you practice mm -hmm. and how do you come up with new routines for GBB? Sometimes I hear a lot of other beatboxers doing it on by watching YouTube and all that stuff. But the way I enjoy it, I always um, hear it on SoundCloud. Yeah, I, I hear like so much track on that, that platform, yeah. What is your number one advice to all the beatboxers out there when it comes on to putting on a good show? First of all, I think the structure wise on your putting on your the show, yeah, just like, just like I say, I think don't focus too much on yourself must focus uh, on playing with the audience, you know, and then make make they dance to your own music. So yeah, that's, that's the important part for me. Besides the grand beatbox stage and in front of beatboxers, mm -hmm. where else would you most like to perform in the world? Any stage, any festival? <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet, but for now, I think this GBB, yeah, this, this one for me is just, prestigious stage for me, yeah. Who is your favorite solo beatboxer? My favorite, probably Inertia. Your favorite looper? Favorite looper, maybe Biscuit. Who do you want to battle? Hmm. Inertia. Who do you not want to battle? Alem. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Probably rice, rice, fried rice, yeah. Please tell everyone where to find you on your socials on the internet? Oh, you guys can find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook and Twitter. Instagram is heartzell underscore. On my YouTube channel is just heartzell and same goes to uh, Twitter. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you very for having good me. Good interview, boys. Thank you for having really me. Really nice. Thank you so much for watching my video and do not forget to follow my social media, Harzel underscore Instagram for Instagram, Facebook, Hari Izelni, and my Twitter, Dato Hari. Thank you so much.